So just scrying the Aether of Zid, and the angels are bidding me to relax, so I do. They're having me reach out with love, and I do. And I'm seeing a um, cross, but the cross is made up of uh, two um, circular arrangements of stars, and now they are sort of rotating around. And I'm getting that same sense as when I've scried um, these uh, higher aethers before of a stellation coming out from a central point. But they're bidding me to just focus on the cross because they're, what they're saying is that um, people who are going about it sort of like how I do it with a sort of um, self, not negating or degrading or anything like that, but um, self-deprecating or rather seeing as one oneself as one star among many, they're going to have more of like this focus on Christ as another person who is at the same time divine, who sort of can fulfill in his person the unity of God and sort of possibly look to him as an example, but also um, learn how to realize that it's not about any individ one individual point, but it's about this sea, and they're telling me to go ahead and use Buddhist terminology, this sea, this, this sea of consciousness, of conscious beings that we're all just sort of one part of, and that we're all sort of flowing and changing within. And so they are bidding me to, um, to look a little bit more deeply at the center. And so the center is this human idea because they're saying God is everywhere. God's heart is everywhere, but because we ourselves are grounded within an individual body that then we need to, it's more like sending our centering ourselves around the divine, right? So learning that our, if our orientation is towards the divine, then um, things such as the Holy Guardian Angel can manifest more easily. And so I'm just letting myself be still. And again, this is above the, this is above the abyss. So this is, or beyond the abyss, however you want to put it. So I'm being shown a little bit of some of the information sort of collecting below in the Aether of Zip, and they're letting me see a little bit above. Again, they're trying not to have me do too much of this, um, of choosing which Aether I'm in, you know, even though they're all very much closer together and it gets sort of to be like a rubber yardstick. But um, I am told to look up a little bit, and I'm seeing like this opening, and it's sort of like this... Um, they're reminding me of the first time that I did something like this when I did a Jebbafal like reconstruction ritual where I was being taken up and they're saying that now that this has begun, now that this has restarted, that the energy will sort of get easier and easier for myself to flow up into. Um, they're, they're saying that the work that I've been doing with um, the Vajrayana Buddhism that's been helping and that there was a lot of stuff to go through um, internally. Um, a lot of peeling away of things like anger or of entitlement or pride. And that is really good and healthy for the continuing of this next part of the process. And they are acknowledging that it was very difficult and that a lot of things were very unexpected and jarring and shocking and that there was a lot of grief, but they're um, very glad that um, I listened this morning when I was told to get up, as I have never gotten up before. Um, so I'm very grateful to the angels for this. I'm asking if there's anything else. And I'm just seeing like this central point. It's like if you focus on the central point, it gets very bright. They're saying if this is your focus, if the divine is your focus, then suddenly 
like everything else w about you within you um, lights up and suddenly takes on this this beautiful glow and they're saying this would be like unto the sun uh, seeing the sun uh, at noon on a very beautiful day so um, like that even though everything else around you is very beautiful you have to go towards the higher light um, and the greater light and that is about it I think I'm sort of feeling like lifted up in my heart center right now and it's like they're literally trying to um, lift me up lift me out of normal consciousness like literally encouraging me um, and I'm feeling like it's a very very strong um, pull upwards and again this is sort of confirming that energetically what I was told before and they're just telling me to just allow my whole body to be as if it were my heart so thus ends the vision